We're very honored to be able to host Pathways Connect because Pathways reaches out to families across the community and brings them in and shows them other sides of life that they wouldn't normally see. Getting the families together and showing them that there's a different way that you can raise your children, that you can get them out in nature, that you can experience things out on a farm and learning the wholesomeness of where their food comes from and things like that. So every chance we get the, the opportunity to support Pathways and the work that they do, we're always eager to do so because they're so focused on bringing wholesome families together and connecting them back to nature and showing that there's a much more holistic approach to parenting, and to food, and to life around us. After spending five years of, of battling up 95, I finally one day said, why would anybody want to do this and not spend quality time with their family? So I went up, told the director of the Defense Threat Reduction Agency, I quit, sir, respectfully. I'm going home to be with my family, and I haven't made that drive since. And when he came home, he utterly shocked me because he said, we need to start you know, growing and producing food and taking care of our children and teaching them how to produce food and how to share that with other families as well. And in some ways it was a dream come true, but it was a little scary too because you know, we got pretty comfortable with having the paychecks that we'd had before and things like that. But now looking back at it, I wouldn't trade it for the world. My biggest challenge was not learning the farm. My biggest challenge was learning to be a homeschool dad. <laughs> I tell you, stepping into some pretty good sized shoes here and I'd find myself going to meetings. I'd walk in through the door, I'd be the only father there and all the women would turn and look at me like, we've got a dad here. <laughs> and it was like, yeah, yeah. Which, Need any help? <laughs> Which they usually were pretty thrilled with because the moment that they had a dad there, it, it turned into, hey, do you mind leading the archery group? Do you mind doing this or, or that with the kids? And so, again, it just opened more doors. And it gave us the opportunity to bring kids out and to show them how to do orienteering, show them how to, you know, what, what a real chicken is and where eggs come from and things like that. So we've enjoyed it ever since the opportunity to share that and to start teaching other families. So we've made it a full-time career now. So one project we're working right now is with the Wounded Warriors called Go Farm You and with the military veterans, particularly the Marine Corps. And we're doing that with the focus of getting those veterans so that they can go home and they can farm back home, wherever home may be, and be an integral part of supporting their community and supporting each other. 